guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashpika. Welcome to Go Buy Magazine Pay channel where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, guys, is a tutorial video. So today I'm gonna be showing on my laptop at the back on how to upload an art on the Society6, your designs uploading on the Society6, taking you to the step-by-step -step process of uploading your work on Society6. So let's get straight with that. Before go to consider clicking the like button, guys, really appreciate that. If you want more such videos, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon because we upload daily videos and when we do so, you'll be get notified about it. Also, we have the bunch of the free resources to help you make more money. The link is in the description box below or simply head over to globalcreative.com, check out the freebie section, download it, use it for commercial purposes as well because it contains a commercial license. Now, also guys, I want to talk about that on the Society6, now there are so many uh, dimensions out there. Like if you want to upload any piece of artwork or designs on uh, Society6 and want it to be uh, placed on every product, then you need to have a highest or biggest size dimension of your design because each and every product has a different. Like the highest one I think is 22,000 pixels or I think 23,000. I don't re really remember it guys, but the higher uh, highest file size dimension is that much so you need to have that high file size to upload on each and every product on a society 6 so let's see uh, i'm gonna be using a shorter file size dimension that is 6000 or 7000 nearly and i'm gonna be uploading that on a society 6 obviously not every product will going to be that designed to my product because it would be having a lesser file size but again we're gonna see on laptop how to do it so let's over to the laptop guys Currently, we are on the Society6. Now, very well, you need to sign up on a Society6 to get started with that. Everyone can get started with the Society6. Like, you don't need to get an approval or you don't need to uh, pay for opening up a shop or something like that. Everyone on this planet or who have an internet connection and a laptop or a mobile can get started with the Society6. So, this is the uh, dashboard or this is the kind of like a website of the Society6. I have already signed up. You can see I have already signed up on a Society6. So, I would be going into the option as a cell where we can upload our work and check out the different artworks that we already have on the platform. Uh, these were the some of the artworks that I have already uploaded. Please, guys, don't call copy my artwork because these are originally made by me so when you go over to that sell option you'll get getting the options over here the my artwork my products my earnings you can check it out on your shop as well in your uh, website when you log in over here then set store markups you can also do that but i'm going to be going into this portion that's the add new artwork so once you go to this option you are allowed to upload your work now you can see the different file types over here the png the jpeg the rgb so some April types require PNG files. So for some of them, you need to have a PNG files and the files that are not supported are SVG, AI, PSD, PDF, and you can go through all those things. And what does featured mean? The featured version of your artwork will appear on a society, my society and become the default asset for your fall art products. So the featured version will going to appear as a main mockup for your product so uh, optimize it according to it now how large should my assets be certain products require different specs to ensure high print quality so assets should not exceed uh, this many of the pixels the image maximum file size is 150 mb but the size file dimension so let's just go over and pick up a file pick up an, a design from my laptop itself i'm going to be clicking over to the select file or either you can drop uh, and drag and drop uh, or click below you you can do whatever you want to do either you can just drag and drop the file over here or either you can just click over the select file option it will going to land over to your uh, computer I've already selected the file it will going to upload I can write the artwork title over here so since it's a colorful texture so I'm gonna be lighting colorful abstract texture pattern uh, background you can very well write according to your design use the relevant title don't put any random keywords in your title because it's really important so use it according to your design and then click over to the continue option over here then you're getting this thing artist agreement that this is your design that you're uploading on it and if you hit the terms of service if you wallet anything then you might get suspended or terminated and or any remedies or penalties under applicable law in addition you will not receive any art to share amounts related to such hours so make sure guys you don't hit copyright trademark policies and you very well read to the terms of service of the society stakes and don't wallet them to be on the safer side so just click over to this i represent that 
and warrant that I have the right to upload and use this our work and it does not violate society six terms of service and copyright to trademark policy including I created and own this original our work I did not copy someone else our work photograph or design so guys you can very well see you can't copy other people our work photograph or design and made your own work I have the right to display any person character name logo image or code may contain in the our work okay this is my original artwork I made by myself so I have the full right over here this is the mature content no it's not a mature content and then click over to the continue option now it will naturally going to upload your design on the society 6 uh, dashboard so here we are guys you can see our design has already been uploaded now the file size that I big large file size so naturally not every product will going to allow me to enable this design on that product so i need to upload a larger file dimension if i want every product on the society 6 to have my design okay now here is the category guys choose it according to your design you can choose a painting drawing collage photography since it's a graphic design because it's a digital artwork so that's why i choose this graphic design now these are the some suggested tags either you can use the suggested tags which are relevant to your design so since it's a digital i'm going to be selecting digital pattern uh then uh pop art okay then the rest of the things i think is not relevant to my design so i won't be clicking with that so you can allow up to 20 tags are allowed so please use it in your design favor don't just upload or, or put a random tags from a random thing don't do it guys because only allowed to have a 20 tags so i'm going to be writing blue texture green texture colorful abstract since it's an abstract pattern abstract pattern uh, yellow texture multicolored uh, multicolored uh, wait a minute guys multicolored design I can also write as in a rainbow and so on and so forth you can very well go and write tags according to it I have put the some tags uh, you're allowed to 20 tags to be put over here uh, I think I'll gonna just put us another one that else because this is a digital art so I can put it as a digital art and yeah that's all then for every product you need to enable your design that is the most time-consuming task on a society six while uploading the artwork for every product you need to slide this button and put it as a on you can see here it's already put as a on on the art print same as the frame art print the canvas print but for the frame mini print i need to do it as a on i need to do it as a on now another option you're getting over here is the edit if you click over to this option over the edit you are leave to the some other pages where you can add your artwork according to that particular product now i'm not gonna go into that thing because i see that my artwork is already looking well on this particular product now middle print poster uh wood wall art now you can say to enable this product image must be at least 4000 pixels wide 5000 pixels tall so i need to have a larger file dimension to fit into this wall hanging so you need to upload larger file size same year 9999 pixels same over year i didn't upload that bigger large file size so that's why it's asking me uh, wall depositories through pillows I'm just gonna be putting every uh, products on because by default it's off so you need to go and put it on on every product so this is a time-consuming task for every design you need to do it same here 7000 pixels a larger file size dimension the coffee table the bar stool the counter stool side tables credenzo you can see guys they have so many products they have a beautiful furniture item as well. Let's go to the duvet covers, the shower curtains, converters, uh, then the pillow sham, the bath mat, and this one needed a larger file size. I don't have one, so leave it like that. Then the wine chiller, uh, water bottle, coffee mug, travel mug, uh, cutting board, serving tray, coaster, scroll down. Uh, acrylic tray, acrylic box, notebook, then the stationery case, the sticker, then this is the tech related product that I like the uh, Apple iWatch, then the uh, iPhone cases, Android cases, uh, do it 
according to it guys you need to do it for each and every product otherwise your product won't be enabled for that particular design so this is a little bit time consuming process but once you are done then you're good to go the face mask the finny pack the backpack now these are the apparels uh, tote bag uh, scroll down the long sleeve t-shirt the hoodie tank tops pouches I scroll down can cooler welcome mat folding stool outdoor floor so these are the few products now you can see many products i haven't been enabled because i didn't upload a large file size which fit into them so if you want to upload like if you want your design to on every product naturally you need to upload a larger file size dimension which fit into these products so make sure you do it if you want that but for the sake of the tutorial i've just chosen a small file size because for the sake of this tutorial i have chosen the small file size but please guys do make sure you are uploading a high file larger file size dimension so that Every product has been enabled for your design so that it's more likely to get the sales from these products. So once we are done with that, we need to write the description. So I'm going to be writing a beautiful design. Uh, wait a minute, guys. Okay. Beautiful design. You can very well write the description according to your design. But for the sake of this tutorial, I've just written as a beautiful design and that's all. Then you need to click over to this. I represent the title tag and description of my artwork. Do not include the name, title, brands, trademark, copyright material that belong to any person, company, or organization. So, guys, if you're uploading any artwork, please don't use any title names or in your title tag description the name or particular brand or trademark or copyright name. Don't use it, guys. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload your artwork on a so uh, Society6. And if you have uploaded it, if you have added the title tag description which contains the copyright or trademark or any brand related name, then might, you might get your account suspended and terminated from Society6. So please take this note guys and do it according to it. Don't violate their rules. Don't violate their laws. And Society6 is really, really strict with this sense. Like on Redbubble, you can see there are a bunch of the people that are selling the trademark or copyright related products. But here you can't do it. So please be, make sure your design doesn't land into these copyright or these terms of service which uh, Society6 is asking you to. Okay. And once you're done with that, click over to this checkbox and then click over to the publish our work. So it's publishing our artwork and once we are done, you're going to see right now the status is a draft and now you can see the status is published. Boom! Our design has been published. Now this is the way to upload an artwork on Society6. You can very well go and can do it for your own purpose. Hopefully you find this video useful and tutorial useful. Do let me know in the comment section below. Bye. So that's it for today video guys. I hope you find it really useful and enjoyable. Do let me know in the comment section below. Are you selling on Society6? How is your experience on it? I would really love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video guys. See you for the next time. Take care. Bye guys.